Hello, my name is Hatim and I'm a software developer. I use Kubernetes for uh, deployment and I love using Elastic Stack. It makes my work very easy with features like log aggregation, distributed tracing, and pro features like service maps. Today, I will briefly show you how I run the Elastic Stack in Kubernetes on laptop. Using Scaffold, which is a development tool running in the background, I can run and develop and iterate uh, my full stack application in a very simple and re repeatable fashion. So Elastic has created operators for deploying to K8s. So once these operators are configured and inst uh, installed, these operators manage your uh, Elastic Stack. This is a production ready technology and creates a highly available Elastic Stacks. You can even get trials for pro features and that you will not be able to find in other solutions. And local installation means that you can test your application and integration uh, without your data leaving your laptop. I decided to build on top of uh, these um, operators and make a simple recipe so that folks who don't uh, who don't want to get in deep into Elastic Cloud for Kubernetes uh, can run this locally. So here's what I'm planning to show. I created a repo called Local Elastic Stack, which is based on ECK samples. And it focuses on making a simple and repeatable setup for developers. For example, by using static passwords, disabling SSL, creating HTTP ingresses, and enabling anonymous authentication for real user monitoring. It is best to have a reasonable internet connection, and then it will take around seven minutes from booting it up, uh, booting up Kubernetes to getting an ECK cluster. Uh, what you need is Docker for Windows um, and or something similar like Minikube or MicroKates, kubectl, Helm uh, for installing uh, Nginx and uh, for samples, uh, Postgres and Redis. So here's how it goes. So, so the first thing you do is like you basically see how many namespaces you have in Kubernetes and then you apply uh, the CRDs from the ECK website. And after that, you basically uh, apply, uh, create the operators. And this creates a namespace, elastic namespace. And uh, this enables you to start uh, actually cre creating your um, configurations that can create uh, uh, different services. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go into the, uh, before that, we go and install uh, Nginx Ingress as well. So now we have uh, one more namespace, Nginx Ingress as well. And after that, we basically go into the GitHub repo and um, just run the all in one file. So this has everything, all the different components, Elastic Search, APM Server, even Beats, et cetera, different roles, et cetera. Uh, we will see some example of this, uh, but uh, uh, this basically starts creating that. And this is the best part. You can go and watch the pods uh, coming up. So the pods in this one are um, starting. And uh, it takes some time, of course, like for um, your Kubernetes cluster to go and you know download the images and then you know converting them up and starting. Uh, for simplicity, we are only using one uh, one uh, one node uh, for uh, Kibana and Elastic Search, for example. So now it took around uh, six minutes and 59 seconds. So uh, right on the spot. So here's some example code that is comes from the all in all in one uh, YAML file. And this one shows um, how you can, uh, how it creates the Nginx ingress that is, uh, will be used by Kibana. We will just go into uh, show how that Kibana demo works on our local machine. And over here, it's also showing like how you can uh, create secrets that are used for enabling trial license or and also, uh, for example, creating a namespace that you can use uh, in for your ingress and for uh, other other things. If I click on Kubernetes to Docker internal Kibana, it gives me a um, login prompt. I do elastic elastic, uh, simple statically uh, static uh, password. Um, I have um, I have already created some uh, uh, log data. And let's go to APM so we can see which services are alive right now. Uh, so it seems like there are uh, two services that are alive. Let's try to poke the third one. Uh, so this is a front end uh, service. Uh, if I go to this particular uh, URL, it uh, gives me a calculation of some stocks. 
So now we have the front end also reporting its status. Uh, so we can see uh, one of my favorite features from Elastic Stack, the service map. You can see there's a JavaScript application that is calling a Java middleware that is calling a Node.js uh, backend, you can say, and it's creating stocks and the stocks are being calculated here and presented, being presented here. So what is interesting is like, if you go to something like um, um, in the APM traces, we can see that uh, sometimes the service takes very long, but sometimes the service takes shorter time. And in that case, we can even see that the Redis uh, database is being uh, used or Redis cache is being used. So that's kind of cool, but the very um, simple setup, I managed to create a distributed application monitoring on my local machine. So one more final thing that I want to show is that um, all the applications that I'm running are basically um, based on a using a technology called Stack Scaffold. And Scaffold basically uh, just builds your application locally and, uh, you know, it can, uh, and it deploys it onto your local Kubernetes cluster. Um, so let's say, for example, over here, I have, um, um, I changed the timeout. So, and I um, also uh, save it and scaffold detects it. So I uh, poke the service again and um, it seems that it did get 1000 milliseconds now, uh, the new, uh, uh, without me doing uh, too many things. So, and this is a ECS logging format. So um, Elastic Stack will automatically pick it up. So let's get, go back to our, our slides. Um, so this was a brief introduction on how you can use um, ECK um, to create a local Elastic Stack. And uh, this is the GitHub repo that uh, I have created and you know that it, it builds on top of ECK. Please send me your questions uh, or comments on GeoAxis on Twitter, uh, GitHub or Gmail, uh, or through the conference chat system. Uh, thank you very much and enjoy, enjoy the rest of the conference.